Alright, what is up guys? How are you guys doing? Um, in today's video, I'm going to install a oil catch can. Um, the reasoning behind it is because uh, the VQ35DE has a bad name of oil consumption. And although mine doesn't really seem like it's burning any oil, I still just want to have a peace of mind. Because um, as these newer cars, um, they have a system called PCV system. Uh, what it means is they'll recycle the blow-by in the crankcase back into the intake system. The blow-by is, is a whole lot of oil, a whole lot of nasty shit, right? So you don't want it to go into your intake system and re-burn it in your engine. Then, because then it'll create some nasty carbon and stuff in your engine and you do not want that. The reason that manufacturer does it is because the um, emission. So it's a require for the manufacturer to do this. And here is a way of going around it, which is by installing a oil catch can. So without further ado, let's have a look at the $20 oil catch can I got. So let us have a look at the $20 oil catch can that I got um, so uh, as you can see uh, it's pretty heavy and it does have a dipstick so that's pretty handy you can see um, the oil level inside and it does come with some fittings and stuff and a rubber hose I have to say this rubber hose is it's not the best quality it's really soft um, but hey what can you expect you know it's $20 I know there are a lot more expensive better quality oil cash can out there I know Z1 make them um, like Mishimoto is a really good one and uh, WDD1 I think it's really popular as well but they are quite a bit more expensive than the um, you know your normal $20 oil cash can and um right now i just don't want to spend like 200 dollars on an oil catch can so i'm just going to tease out the 20 dollar one and um and see how it does and maybe later on i might upgrade to a better quality one so with the pcv system um as you guys can see there's a hole here that it's um, the pressure coming out of there and then this hose is normally connected to there which is your lower plenum and that's how they recycle the uh, blow-by into your lower plenum and reburning it and I see a lot of people on the internet they only connect the, the PCB system on this side of the car but actually when you come over here I still have the factory air box and stuff this is another PCV system coming back from in there probably you guys can't really see but yeah there is another PCV valve which means even though you did that side this side will still burn some blow by but with my $20 setup I only have one inlet and one outlet you cannot connect that side of the PCV system um into there because you know i only got two in and out so you need three uh you need two inlet and one outlet to do that i think but um since i don't think my car have really any bad burning oil symptoms or anything i'm just gonna do the uh, pcb system on this side of the motor and um later on when i do the review I'll do that side as well because that side is kind of pain in the ass to get to um, since the pipe is hiding underneath the plenum. So yeah, let's get to it. This is actually really simple and easy. There's a clamp. Um, you use a plier, click the clamp off um, the pipe, the end of the pipe, and then you just pull it off the holes. And um, Making the job a bit easier, you can see these are the here are the bracket of the loop and here as well. So you can take those off, which are 10mm bolts, 
and then they'll give you quite a bit more clearance just taking off that hose. Also I see quite a bit of people on the internet they'll have the oil catch can sitting here or somewhere since my oil catch can doesn't really have a good supporting tab I don't think I can mount it here but what I found is there's two bolts holding the I think that's clutch fluid reservoir so I might take off those two bolts and then just fits nice and perfect I might just have the oil catch can there and at the same time I don't have to use really long holes or anything and I think the hood will be able to the hood will be able to clear that I might just give it a try so I forgot to show you guys so just gonna quickly show you guys the inside of the catch can with um, some type of oil catch can they'll have a drain plug underneath the catch can for me I'm always scared that the bolt is gonna it's it's not it's gonna have um, the oil leaking out of there so I got this kind as you guys can see um, really shows it's just a $20 catch can because there are some weird metal color or I don't know what you call it in there but does have a um, o-ring and since that part is since that hole is coming in there is a filter that should filter out um, the oil and then the air will coming back up from that part and then coming out of the oil catch can all right change of plan guys <laughs> so i'll just tease fitting it and it looks like right looks like it's working really well but the problem is you can't tighten it down because um, this clamp is actually blocking it so you can't you can actually get it in the hole but you cannot secure it there it just wouldn't stay and I was thinking about swapping for some swapping for some longer longer bolts and then I'll put some uh, washer there and um, and then they'll stay but then I realized that whole thing is welded onto this middle plate so you cannot really replace the bolt for a longer one so um i might for the meantime there's a hole there i might just zip tie it there and hopefully it'll hold so now i'm just gonna put the fitting on first so this is uh what is looking like at the moment it's definitely not the prettiest but this is what I have to do to mount it. But don't worry guys, later on I'll definitely mount it to a proper place. Alright, so this is the original piece of holes um, from here to here. So it kind of sits like that. This is the end, so that holes will connect to here and this is the out. This will connect to the lower planning part. You can see there are some shininess to the, to the nozzle thing. So you can definitely tell there are blow by oil um, going through and then into the lower plenum. Alright, so while I was installing, I ran into some problem. Um, the factory clamp, um, which is this one, it's just not holding it. It's just not like holding the pipe tight enough. Um, and I think the problem is the pipe I got it's a different um, slightly different thickness to the factory pipe so and they only gave me two of these so I have to reuse um, the factory clamp so I just came up with the idea that I'm using the electrical tape to tape the bottom to make it thicker so hopefully um, hopefully this will work all right since the end of the pipe is a lot thicker clamp is definitely grabbing a lot better as you can see I'm actually pulling on it and it's not moving it's not going anywhere so that's good and I'm just gonna clamp that down as well and we're done all right guys everything is installed that part it's it's not going anywhere everything is tightened down uh, it looks okay I probably prefer the thing um, probably holds on those two bolts and probably tilting 
more towards the engine I think it will look better that will do for now with the install it's definitely a, a $20 catch can install because the holes it's not the best quality um, the clamp feels cheap and yeah um, if you guys have the extra money definitely I recommend go to the um, more well-known brand I'll definitely get the better quality overall when it comes to install it'll be a lot easier but since I'm only spending $20 on the oil catch can I can't complain much so I think I've drive the car probably for, for a month or two I'll do a review on the $20 catch can and um, right after that I think I'll upgrade which uh, everything will be redone including um, that part of the PCB system so then there will be a more complete setup and it will look overall better as well alright guys that's a wrap for this video so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video